Hello all. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn Open Lens, a open source graphical user interface tool to manage your Kubernetes cluster. So many, many of you guys are already aware of with uh, Lens. So Lens is a paid component, whereas uh, we can get the similar kind of benefits in Open Lens. So Open Lens helps to manage multiple Kubernetes clusters using a graphical user interface so you can manage your clusters so i already installed open lens in my computer so i'm just opening open lens lens id so once you open your open lens id at the left bar you have like catalog so you have home catalog and hotbars so in catalogs uh, you have this general option clusters and web links so if you want to manage your clusters you can click on clusters and once you click on clusters you have option to sync the kubernetes kubeconfig folders or kubeconfig files so, so that you can uh, sync multiple config files or config files related folders on the go so right now i'm just syncing one of the kubernetes config file so i am just checking the config file from dot cube folder and once the sync is done so you see it is showing status as the sync is done and you can get more info when you click on this notification thing and uh, once you are done you can simply connect to your cluster from cluster section or else you can pin it to the hotbar and from hotbar also you can connect so let me connect to this cluster first so once we connect to this kubernetes cluster it will fetch the kube config and it will display the information of the demo kubernetes cluster so you see the status it is showing connected and with the version information and uh, let me add it to the hotbar so once you add it to your hotbar you will simply manage your cluster on the go so you can able to see the cluster information nodes information you can see the workload information and different kubernetes objects you can manage by switching to different namespaces so just uh, we can see the more information of the deployments or ports related info from the this open lens id So I'm able to see this more information. Even you can uh, run the imperative commands from the terminal and you can create using declarative fashion from this template section. You can create like all different Kubernetes objects like pods, jobs, ingress, anything. On the easily you can uh, create and deploy to your Kubernetes cluster. So that's the advantage of open lens so we can switch to the namespaces and we can able to see the events manage the storage if you have helm charts also you can attach your helm registry and you can deploy to your kubernetes cluster easily so that's all that's all guys uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, please provide your valuable feedback subscribe to my channel